it seemed the logical thing to follow last week's mashed potatoes with would be what else but gravy? So join me today and see how to make some gravy to add to our doll's holiday table. In the uh, aim of following through with our holiday meal, I thought I would paint up one of the little metal mini gravy boats I have and a saucepan. And I'm going to show you how to make some gravy to go with last week's mashed potatoes. Now this is just a simple metal mini that I painted with an off-white and then added some gold acrylic paints to it. I have not put a clear finish on yet because I want to wait until it's out of the oven. Again, this is just a metal mini that I have uh, painted with a silver and then black on the handle. And this one I won't be putting any more finish on. I like this the way it is. These do need to be bakeable because we are going to use TLS or Translucent Liquid Sculpey again this week. I've got a really old container of it sitting here. It just has a little bit in that I kind of keep over on the corner of my clay table. And I'm going to pull some of that out. When it gets really low in the bottle, I tend to um, use the knitting needle to just dip it out. All right, then I have, again, some oil paints. And these, someone asked me about these. These oil paints are just some cheap ones I picked up probably at Walmart or at Joanne Fabrics for just a few dollars for a package of I think 12 colors. You don't need you know really good uh, professional quality oil paints obviously for what we're doing here. You just need something inexpensive. I'm going to use this because it will make a nice brown gravy color. If I feel like I've gotten it too dark, I can go in with just a touch of, I should have gotten the white out before I stopped, a little bit of white in there because I think that's going to bake up just a little darker than I want it to. If you're concerned about how your color will look, uh, go ahead and take just a little bit of this uh, mixture and bake it up on a piece of um, aluminum foil because it will turn a little darker the uh, translucent liquid Sculpey will get a little more translucent than it is and I thought I would put some in the pan this is also fun to wipe across some empty dinner plates Oops, let's see if I can slip this down and have it look good You can also put some clay in the bottom of the uh, pan if you want to make it more full. I don't want it too full. Let's see if I can drip it into my container without making a mess. Since I want to coat this um, gravy boat with some triple thick, I'm waiting until I get this all baked to do that. And because I want the gravy to look wet, I'll also coat the top of it with the triple thick. TLS comes out looking quite matte when it gets baked. Let's see if I can get a little more off of here. And are we still under camera? We are not. I moved that where it wasn't under camera anymore. Sorry about that. Hopefully you saw most of what I did because this is the only gravy boat I have left. Come on. And literally this is a matter of putting this stuff in drip by drip. I 
I know I've painted metal minis for you on camera before, so I just painted these off camera while I was doing between other projects. Let's see if I have. Sometimes I can get more of it scooped up with a craft stick than I can with the toothpick. Now I asked the question on my Facebook group and I'm going to ask it here too. I am thinking about ordering a large order of metal minis and then selling them on my Etsy shop. So if you're interested, let me know. Probably by the time I get this video up and you see it, I'll already have the order placed. It takes a while for it to arrive though. I'll wipe the top of that that. I'm going to let this kind of settle down. And now I'm just going to bake these just like you would any other clay mixture. Beauty of working on aluminum well, foil, I can just throw this part away. I'm going to put these in on a paper plate or a baking tile, either one. I'm going to bake them at about, I like to bake it about 250 degrees. That way it doesn't affect the paints very, at all. Now I'll bake them for about 10 minutes, and when they are baked and cooled, I'll come back and we'll put a clear finish on and see how these look. All right, these are baked and cooled off, and you'll notice the TLS does turn very, very matte finished. So, we need to put a clear finish on our ceramic pieces anyway, and this is, my gosh, I am dropping everything. I just dropped a bunch of stuff over here off of my table as I sat down. And I like to use a very soft brush. Now for the gravy in the saucepan, I am just going to put a very thin coat on top. Gravy is a food that would be shiny because it's a liquid. When I'm painting a piece like this plate, I like to start on the back side. We only need one coat. I'll let that dry and then I will come back. And I'm going to do around here first. I'm not going to bother with the bottom of the little gravy boat. Let's see if I can hold this so that I can see it. I'm going to lay it down there. And then I'll just put a coat over the top. And I may need two coats on the ceramic portions to make the acrylic paint look like ceramic. Um, but that's really all there is to putting a finish on this. I will let this get dry and when this side dries I'll turn this one over and paint the top side. And when everything is dry and finished, I will come back and show you how they look all completed. Well, these have dried overnight, and I think they look great. I didn't quite get the paint on these as well as I maybe should have, but that's okay for this time. Anyway, that's how they look finished. Uh, remember, if you're going to put like a serving spoon or a spoon to stir on the stove, that needs to be done before you bake, obviously. But we now have some gravy for the table and a pan of gravy to put on the uh, stove. And of course you could make little mounds of mashed potatoes like I showed you last week and put some gravy on those and glue those to your plates. So I hope you enjoyed this addition to our holiday table. Be sure and check the blog post because I can put much better photos there than I can on the video. And come back next week and see what we do then. Oh, and be sure and stop by the Facebook page. Link is in the description box. And join us there in the discussion. We have a lot of fun over there. I'll talk to you later. Bye.